Hey guys, this is Transdomba here and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be carrying on with Minecraft Story Mode. Oh, Jesse, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Radar. There is a lot going on. Someone still needs to finalize the ideas for the Founding Day banners. The cake baking team can't agree on what color to make the front of their shop. The Woolmakers Radar. Guild isn't super happy about their booth being next to the firework union. Understandable. The delegate from Boomtown left word that she wanted to make a speech at the parade. Radar. Very odd. Blue hair. Smells like sulfur. Speaking of which, you should probably work on your Founding Day keynote address. Oh, Radar. and rehearse it! Ah, sorry. You got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? I see you brought friends. And a new accessory? Short version, the town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. I'll be gone for a little bit. Gone? But, Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Founding Day is right around the corner, and if it's really in, in, in danger, who will protect everyone? There's no telling what could happen! And I have so few details. Why don't you try leading them, pal? Ooh, oh, this is a made of story, James. This is in the left hand corner. Try not to. I don't know how we'll change it. Jesse, I won't let you down. I know you won't. There's a lot more decisions, luck, like boss. like major Beacon decisions that make loads of like for you when you get changes along the game in sure. well, in this season Bye. compared to the last one. Bye. Oh. <laughs> you said it. Can't believe that's your assistant. He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. Or a creeper and a herd of cats. Or He's a little nuts, but his heart's in the right place. <clears throat> if you say so. So, where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never, uh, probably only seen, you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Definitely on your way to becoming a big hero like me. It's just like I always say. I couldn't have done it without my friends. Yeah, friends are the best. <laughs> Love having friends. Hey, wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. No, no, I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here. It's going to be upgraded. That is cool. Yeah, I've got one of those too. He's like, I've got one of that. I'm, I'm, I'm good enough to have one of that. <laughs> wow. Oh, please, I have to choose. This is so hard. I can't choose. There's so many options. And I'm literally. Oh, you're kidding me. Right. Um, let's have a look at it first. Dragon's Bane. So cool. Whoa. Great name, too. Do you think that's pretty good? Name? I am. Don't really like the colour though. I'd rather have like a... This one's alright, I suppose. Let me look at that one as well. Swordbreaker. Nice classic name. Awesome modern look. It's alright, but that name's a bit... My favorite. Nah. Swordbreaker's a bit yeah, kind of typical. Should I say typical? Is that the right word? Oh, this is Tim's armor. Glimmering diamonds and shiny gold. Tim would have looked great in it if he was real. So much pomp for a guy who never actually existed. Non-existent guy's loss, my gain. Hello, God's armor. How Ford cool is that. redstone infused armor? Eligard was incredibly crafty. I wonder what sort of awesome redstone contraption she'd be making these days. Wait, isn't she dead? Because we took her armor, so she died or something because uh because she got killed by the wither storm? Not entirely sure. Anyway, Adamantium Impervium. So strange, isn't it? Ah, Adamantium Impervium. I always suspected this one was Ivor's favorite. I think he just likes saying the name. Right, so we've seen a couple. There's a couple down that side, I believe. Nope. Shield of Infinity. Oh, so far. Let's just spit it out, guys. So, so far, what's got my attention is not. I've either the uh, Adamantium Impervium or the Swordbreaker. Those two have got my attention a lot because we've already worn this. I want to wear something that wear something that we haven't actually worn yet. Sword of Infinity. A shield. Or shield. Of infinity. I love how regal this one. I feel like Ivor might have been running out of ideas when he named it, though. 
I like this one too. No, I don't really know. It's pretty plain. End of Defender. Anyone really who won this? I don't quite like this either. Uh, the Redstone Riot. Golden Goliath. Alright, let's go for. Hmm, this is Rahat. I could go for that. But then we could also, also go for that. I'm, I'm imagining Jesse wearing that. Uh, no, I don't really like that. Okay, let's just go back to. Uh, I told you guys I'm very undecis undecisive uh, with these things. Right, Swordbreaker or the um, Admentium Impervium. Let's go Admentium Impervium, it's pretty cool. If I knew, I'd guess I'd be matching to our diamond sword because now it just looks silly. This is something we haven't bought, worn in any of the season, like episodes in last season, Agreed. or this season, obviously. Hey, uh, can you just give me and Jesse a minute? Huh? Aww. Listen, uh, with the heck mouth and everything, I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize for all the stuff with my sword, Champion City, so I'm sorry. You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. I'll totally deny everything later. I appreciate it. I mean, it's pretty big of you. Hey, look, I really meant it. Ah, it really is big of me, isn't it? Okay, now with that sappy stuff out of the way, Let's go find us a sea temple. Jack? Nerm? I kind of regret go. the armor choice, but it's fine. So where are we going exactly? It's time to chart a course for Doom Sea. Oh. Shut up, Nerm. It's an awesome name. Of pressure plate. Oh, is that pressure plate? That's a stone block. I think that might be just a stone block. Right, so we're going to Doom City, which is apparently not on the map for some reason. And I kind of get why this place isn't something appealing, is it? He's at least standing on the boat. So I leapt off the cliff, mournful blade in hand, and drove it right into the head of the Ikara zombie. I slept on an enormous pile of diamonds that night. Enormous? Oh, I can only imagine! <sighs> oh yeah, pretty typical day for me. You'll see. After this, I'll take you to this amazing woodland mansion I found. Yeah, let's make that happen. It's really far from here. I love it. Sounds super cool. Doesn't seem so great. Hey, what about me? Wouldn't have it any other way. Sounds super cool. Sounds really cool. I can't wait either. Uh, yeah, sure, of course. Excuse me. I feel right. quite left out here. We go down there, Sorry, guys. Any background noises? I, feel I should give you one last warning. The rules, as you know them, how the world works, those don't always apply in this temple. Hmm. Hey, what? Some people believe it's because this temple was made by the admin. The what? <sighs> Supposedly he's some all-powerful ancient person. Built the world, I don't know. But the legend of the admin is just that. A legend. A story. Bunch of superstitious malarkey, frankly. I've been to the swamps of Funja and back, and that's still one of the more ridiculous things I've ever heard. Well, that sounds like a load of junk. Glad we agree. But just remember, what you're gonna see in this temple, it'll stay with you. Uh, we used this island as our staging area last time we were here. How can you be so sure it's the same one? Uh, Perfect internal compass. The the sea temple is directly below us. It's like I can feel it. 
Then what are we waiting for? <sighs> That's the spirit. Picked up these enchanted helmets from the deep dwellers of Honbar Kavas. Time to suit up and roll out. I guess we're going underneath with our new helmet. Sea diving helmets, which are currently aren't currently in Minecraft. But they match well with my armor. Temples that way. How Compass. Right! Oh, that's so cool. This looks pretty cool. It's like mystical and Oh we get to move. Oh wow. Can we move around like that way? No, we can only push forward. We can stop and look around a bit. Oh there's a buffer fish right there. And a clownfish. And these actually do look 2D even though I think they're meant to be 3D. Whoa. What is that? I saw some scary building. What they called guardian fish or something like that. Oh no. These guys that uh, kind of like have a range attack, so they're pretty strong, uh, like range wise. Jesse! Behind you! Temples that'd be pretty cool, like stuff like this. Awesome. That's amazing. Quick, get inside. Open sesame, so we got an award for that after some reason. We're sure that we have all our limbs. How about we find that structure block? Like gods, I think. I don't know what they are. Uh, I forgot they did that. Okay, that's not normal. Pretty uh, impressive, right, Petra? Oh, man, those things are creepy. Carvings on this prismarine aren't like anywhere else in the world. I think they're this size. Really? Yep. Completely unique. They are pretty creepy, to be honest. Like, two, or oh, four even. Massive giant, uh, giant staring at you. It's pretty creepy. Mm -hmm. Probably giant statues, but... He's... I'm gonna need a sec, just to check my enchantments. Yeah, gotta make sure they're all there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna scout ahead. <sighs> <sighs> What's wrong? Yeah, uh, nothing, nothing. Must hit a patch of soul sand or something. Oh, whoa, it's uh, got me. Like, um, frozen in place. <clears throat> Uh, I'll be all right. I know it's pretty intense, but you don't have to be scared, Jack. But this is way harder than I thought it would be. Oh, boy. You're going to be okay. 
Sorry guys if the game would do You're randomly right. decreases. Thanks, Jesse. Guys, hey, I found something! Uh, it's because um like uh, be right there! Hey, uh let's uh just keep this between you and me, huh, amigo? <laughs> okay. Man, it's nice. That's a bit weird. I guess he's not you really have no like... idea how it feels. To have everyone around you think you're some has been. I don't think Petra needs to hear about it. So, just hush on it. Ah, don't worry, Jack. We all get scared from time to time. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess. Hey, thanks. I found the next door down there, but it needs that Yeah, it's because I'm breathing. Things. Like, not breathing, the game audio, and sometimes my breath does What's get in the way. What's keeping you guys? It automatically reduces uh, the game audio. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Let's check it out. Okay, that is cool. Sure, let's see how cool you think it is when your life is on the line. Inches from the abyss. Ah. I know what I'm talking about, Nerm. Pretty, uh, pretty intense though. Just do what I do, and you'll be fine, all right? Oh, really? I mean, yeah, yeah, you're the boss. Say beautiful, but I oh, still like right what guys. Whoa. Whoa, that was too close. Do you remember any of this, Jack? I uh, it's all a blur. It's a test, though, to see whether the adventurer is worthy of the structure block. Yeah. things for and it looks like it's oh, so if you look around the city and if you look around the corner too long the uh, thing will okay, catch us guardian fish and floating water blocks water floating in midair that should be impossible <sighs> well if I know one thing it's definitely not the admin <sighs> oh he won't listen to me anymore Guys. <sighs> yeah, but what if it is real the admin I mean <sighs> Trapped down here with a bunch of soft-headed shulkers. Hmm. Well, I don't know about an admin, but I really, really don't like that floating water. Oh no! Before we get before it gets red, uh, look at the sponges. Those sponges. Ooh, that was close, just guys. Be the thing to soak up the water and leave the guardians high and dry. Right. So we're gonna use the sponges on the floating water, dry it up, and that should take out the guardians. It's on that job. I think those stupid fish owe me. Okay. But uh, someone's gonna need to run the other way and distract the guardians, right? Buy you guys time. Okay, this is gonna Wouldn't be a very. Whoever Petra, you can do this. Run. I'll take care of it. Petra, you can do this. Petra, I know you can do this. Jack and I will grab. Yeah, I've got good faith in that. Cool, I'm on it. Yeah. Okay, everyone, let's get nuts. Ready. Ready. Then go. Hey, scaleheads! Zap this. Here we go. Oh, God. Better go well. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's fast again. There we go. Throw it at that. Yes. Sponge is sucked like, like the water up pretty quickly. It's working! It's working! Yes, oh, no. it is working. No, no. Sammy. Jack? Jack! Jesse! We've got a Jack problem! Ah. Come on, we've got to save Jack. He's clearly not in the right mind right now. Uh, come on. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, I'm... I'm so sorry. Hmm. Oh. Jack? Jack, are you okay? I thought you had this. No. I'm I'm not okay. 
I didn't deserve our awesome cool guy handshake before. Oh. I'm really sorry, everyone. That pile of inventory there? That was my friend, Sammy. Jack. No, I don't need your pity. I don't... I don't deserve it. I need to be alone right now. Whatever is left of Voss must be somewhere down here, too. I don't know about you, but I want out of this room. Structure blocks gotta be close. Okay, guys. <clears throat> oh, sorry for that. Yeah, uh, so what I'll do is end the video here because normally I have taken a lot of time just designing the armor, so I, I, I kind of didn't. I took quite long. So in the next episode, we'll, this, we'll um, have an explore through here, and then we can make our through to the uh, the block that we need to go and find, the admin block or something. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, next episode will be up soon, probably tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye.